This is Gene Key for SkyServe News. From KVUE.com, the Federal Emergency Management Agency has expanded its wildfire disaster declaration area for Texas to include 119 counties. Governor Rick Perry on Wednesday announced FEMA has granted the state's request to increase the original 45 counties eligible to seek disaster help. Perry's office says the updated disaster declaration extends the wildfire's incident period through August 29th. Texas has responded to more than 26,000 fires that have burned more than 3.9 million acres. The governor's office says state and local response costs are estimated at more than $330 million. The Associated Press reports Texas is poised to approve a water plan that calls for spending $53 billion to build enough dams, reservoirs, and infrastructure to help ensure its water needs are met for the next 50 years. But the plan's author, the Texas Water Board, has no power to ensure its strategies are implemented. Implementation is up to local officials who say budget cuts have made infrastructure improvements too expensive. The report says Texas population will grow from 25 million to 46 million by 2060, which should expand water demand 22 percent. But existing state water supplies will decline 10 percent. According to the report, failure to meet future water supply needs could cost the state $115.7 billion per year by 2060. From San Antonio, the Associated Press reports a judge has sentenced a retired Army major to two years in federal prison for laundering $400,000 in property received from a military contractor while in Kuwait during the Iraq War. The Justice Department said 45-year-old Charles Joseph Boy, Jr. of Georgetown, Texas, was sentenced Tuesday in San Antonio. This is Gene Key for SkyServe News.